We want to have children, but given the current economic crisis, we're not sure if it's a good time right now. Do other people worry as well? And what are the effects? There are two things which influence people's decisions about having kids. One is their personal situation. Um, if you are unemployed, if you are working involuntarily part-time, if you are in a sector which is really hardly hit by the recession, then you may feel the crisis yourself. And then you may be worried uh, that, for instance, it will be difficult to have a first child because first child is a big investment. Often you need to have enough space to where to live with your kid and buying a house, even renting a, bit f a big flat or buying a flat can be a lot of money, big expense. You may have difficulties getting mortgage if you don't have a good labor market position or not even speaking if you are unemployed. And um, the, the, the other level is that people listen to friends they follow news, uh, they listen to radio and TV, they read news on the internet. If the recession is frequently discussed and you hear it everywhere, it gets in your mind. You start being afraid what can happen in half a year, what can happen two years from now, even if your personal situation is good. Some jobs are more secure and um, people have more certainty about also different types of social security and um, they can be more sure that, that if they decide to have a child they will be more protected. They can get back to their job two years later when they want to start working again. Uh, on the other side of the scale are industries and jobs which are more pro-cyclical or most pro-cyclical. Uh, which boom during the good times, which go bust in bad economic times. So then I can give you an example of men working in construction industries, for instance, or in um, agriculture jobs, which are often very seasonal. So these guys would be in a position where it would be even very difficult for them to find a good partner if they are, for instance, unemployed or if they are certain with unemployment. And it's even much more difficult for them to have a child because they often are still, in many countries, the breadwinners who are supposed to support their family. So these guys would be those who are unlikely to have kids during the recession. Imagine you are in, in your late 30s. Um, that's, that's really difficult. It, it certainly doesn't alleviate your worries. It just adds another level, layer of worries and another layer of anxiety about your decision because you play a gamble. You know, you, don't, you may not have so many years to wait before you have your child. At the same time, you may know you are now not in a secure economic position or you may not even have a steady partner. And, uh, the gamble is, if you decide to postpone childbearing, you may not be easily able to have a child and you may suffer infertility three, four years from now. And more and more women and couples are now in this position because we see an increasing number of women who are childless at age 35, 37, even 40. From surveys we know that ever more of them say, yes, they want to have a child in the future. And now bang, comes the economic recession support from the family and social network that's very, very important in places where uh, public support to families is relatively low, public childcare is less easily available, and there is not much either publicly um, subsidized housing or not a big rental market where you can easily get your flat. Then your parents become a great source of support when you need to borrow money or get money to buy your apartment and typically your mom becomes a great child carer who comes, especially if she is retired, who comes when needed and who takes care of your kid when you have to go to work and that makes a big difference, especially in Southern and Eastern Europe for instance.
the first kind is perhaps the most difficult policy and this, this is to make labor market as functioning as possible. Um, so in many countries, and this was for instance the case in many places of Southern Europe already well before the recession, there was a labor market which protected some workers, typically the older ones, and younger people were in very unstable positions, had unstable jobs, with little prospects for future career growth. Well, this is not a good situation for them to start a family. So if you can make labor market more open towards, for instance, young entrants, more flexible, and also have policies which help people to get retrained if they lose their job, their job position, that could help then in their childbearing decisions. Now, other types of uh, government support or state support are very important as well. Uh, if you support childcare options for parents, uh, give them the possibility, especially to women, to return early to the labor market and not have a very long break when uh, their job position may be even closed during that time, that's good for their decision. If you provide financial support to families, especially again to those families where one of the partners stays at home with kids, that can be also very good for the feeling of security, uh, feeling secure enough to decide to have a child. I pull out two numbers from the US survey uh, done by the Pew Research Center in 2009. And they asked younger people aged between, I think, 25 and 34 whether, as a result of the recession, they decided to postpone marriage or to postpone having children. And one out of five said they decided to postpone marriage. Approximately one out of seven, 15 percent, said they decided to postpone having children. Now, we demographers may look much later on at these numbers and try to estimate how many of them never married and how many of them never had a kid. But at least this, this gives some sort of feeling and illustration about the effect of the recession.